So one of the really cool things that you can do when working in Edpuzzle is you can actually put your own voice over a video. So this could be a video that you may have created on your own and then uploaded into Edpuzzle and then you can go in and add your audio or you can actually use a video that you have taken from YouTube or a TED Talk or you know whatever it is that you decided to use for this lesson. Um, this one in particular that we're looking at is just a video that I actually took out of Edpuzzle's um, content. So it's one that was able to borrow. A teacher actually um, used it, and then I'm just going to show you how to kind of take it over and add my own audio. So you can see what we have here. We already looked at the clip um, using the crop tool, but now we're looking at this blue icon here called the audio track. So I've already uploaded my video and cropped it in the way however I pleased. So the next step would be audio. Um, so what I usually do first is click play and hear what the video might be talking about to get an idea of what I want to add in my audio. And then um, we then will go on and add my own. So let's click play real quick. Today we are going to talk about an incredible process that uses light, carbon dioxide, and water to make something awesome that we all love, sugar. Great. So just to get a general consensus, we're obviously talking about photosynthesis. So um, what I would do now that I have my idea, I would then go, once I hit stop, it's going to bring me back to the original location, the very beginning of the video here, since we didn't add any audio. Um, so now I'm going to go, and I'm going to click here. And this is now recording my voice. Um, so whatever it is, the general I, um, thing that you want to add in, the introduction, the vocab, whatever it is you want to add, you're just going to speak right now as it's recording my voice. Uh, once you get all the way through to uh, wherever you want to stop, I'll hit pause. You'll notice um, as I scroll down here, it'll say reset the whole recording if you really don't like what you did. Um, and remove the last recording. Since we only have one, we'll go ahead and keep it. Um, and then I'll continue playing. So by hitting play here, it will play the video with the original sound. But then you would then hit pause and then record your own. So it's kind of a re uh, repetition as you keep going. You can record and just go through the entire video and record over. That's perfectly fine, but sometimes you know you may make mistakes and you may want to re-record. So being able to have this option of pausing and then going back and forth kind of helps you out as you go, and um, it's almost like editing as you go as well. So then I will click just to get an idea of what's coming up next in the video. I'll click play. We cannot do this amazing, incredible process, which is known as photosynthesis. Some types of protists can do photosynthesis. Some types of bacteria can. And of course, plants can. So I click pause again, and I know it's going to take me back to my. So your very first recording is already there since we kept it. You're now going to click record again. And this is where I would talk about the next section, which would be obviously photosynthesis. We can see what we're going here, and I would include the audio that I need to do for the students. This will continue to play until it would, you could either continue on to the very end or you can hit pause and go back to see what's going on in the video. So we'll hit pause. This will add in the new video. So we have first video here, second video for audio one, audio two. Um, again, if you really don't like any of it, you can reset it. If you don't like just the one that you just did, you'll remove it. Um, I'll continue on to get another general consensus of what this video is referring to. Produces oxygen the very gas that we need in order to breathe. So this process is important for us to understand. I'll hit stop, and then I know I can go in to hit my audio. So they're talking now about oxygen. So I will click that audio button there, and it can record my voice. So you would add here um, whatever you want to add about the video, uh, just adding your own unique touch. Once I get all of that, I'll hit pause. And you'll see you have one audio, two audio, three audio. You can, again, reset it or remove it. Um, and that's pretty much it. You would just repeat all the way through to the end. Once you're happy, you would then go. It would. You have to record all the way through. So you would basically keep going all the way through, talk, 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 
blah, 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 all the way to the very end of the video. Once you get to the end, it'll allow you an option to save. That is where you'll just save it. And once you save it, you know that the video has your voice over it. It will not have the original voice in the in the uh, whatever voice you have in here. It'll just bring your your unique voice to it, and it'll save. Um, so you will remove the audio and lose it um, once you save your own. So I'm just going to hit pause there. And again, once you're happy with it, you'll save it. And then the next step would be going into your um, the next process of adding what whatever questions you may want whether they're multiple choice or open-ended